Just pulled into North Country Lodge in Northwest Ontario. No float plane on this trip, strictly vehicle drive to. Hey, we're at Ontario Experience Buffet. We're talking feathers and fin. I've also got a special guest with me on this trip, my white lab, Ricky. She's here to flush a few grouse for me, and hopefully if my shot is on, we're gonna be taking a few grouse home. If that's not enough, my good friend Jeremy Smith is with. We're talking muskies on this trip. Cannon Lake is full of them. My guess is he's gonna see a few, and I'm also guessing he's gonna get a few hookups. Hey, I've been fishing in Ontario for well over 40 years and have some great fishing memories, not to mention some very close friends. Ontario has some of the best multi-species freshwater fishing in the world. Ontario has a special place in my heart. The Ontario Experience captures all of this and more as hosts Troy Linder and Ty Shadeen explore new places, meet some authentic characters, and experience world-class fishing and hunting along the way. The Ontario Experience is the next best thing to going on the adventure yourself, and who knows, this unique show just might give you some ideas for your next fishing or hunting trip. Northwest Ontario's North Country Lodge was built in 1936, long before there were any roads to this area, and train was the only transportation in or out. It's pretty amazing to think that for over 80 years, anglers and hunters have been visiting this place, now run by Wayne and Lydia Licott. In fact, one guest has been returning each year for 53 years. That should tell you something. North Country Lodge is a pretty special place. Wayne and Lydia offer a stress-free housekeeping plan with seven clean and comfortable cabins. And the main lodge is a hospitality central. One night a week, Wayne and Lydia host a camp supper and the food is outstanding. It's a great opportunity to catch up with other guests, share information, and maybe even watch a little football. And of course, fill the fuel tank for another day of stellar fishing and hunting. You know, Ontario's got so many gravel roads, so many walking trails for grouse. It's just endless. I mean, miles and miles. I mean, if you want to get on good grouse hunting, Northwest Ontario is a perfect place to come and get your birds. And you know what? Spend time with your dog. She's, she's on the trail. Good girl. Got it. Go get it, girl. Go get it! Go get it! Pitch it up! Pitch it up! Pitch it up! Good girl! Bring it here! Bring it here! Come on! Bring it here! Yes! Come on, girl! Yes, you did it, Ricky! Come here, girl! Her first retreat! That is so awesome! Good girl! That is so awesome! I mean, this is a proud moment for me. As a dog owner, like I said, it's, it's like your, your child taking its first steps, in my opinion. Some people don't understand that. People that love dogs and, and really think of them as a family member do get that, so super cool. Come on, Ricky. Good girl. Come on. Got something for you. Look at that. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. I've got a son at home that's 11 years old. But a year and a half ago, we decided, you know what, if you're going to get into hunting, I'm going to get my son into hunting, let's go get a dog. And he was really all about getting a dog. So we went through the whole process of doing the research, finding a, a really good breeder. We went to the breeder. We, they had two pups. We got, we got the choice of two females. He didn't necessarily choose her, but she chose him. She crawled up in his lap, not once, but twice. So you know what, this was the one for us. She is now my son Tyson and my true hunting dog. And she's got it figured out. She's only, like I said, she's not even two years old, so that's pretty cool. There it goes. This segment is brought to you by Tourism Northern Ontario.
There it goes. Fetch it up, girl. Fetch it up. Come. Come. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. There we go. Hey. We're on the birds today. Ricky is retrieving. I wonder how those musky dudes are doing right now. I bet you they're catching a few. Here we are at North Country Lodge on beautiful Canyon Lake just north of Vermilion Bay, Ontario. Ty's out trying to shoot some chickens or rough grouse this morning, and we're heading out on a musky mission with my new friend, Glenn. Canyon is a beautiful fishery. I've spent a lot of time in this area since I was a teenager. This is where I fell in love musky fishing. The Indian chain is just south of us, loaded with muskies, and Canyon's kind of that special place where it's got lots of fish, but it also has some really big fish. So we're gonna head out here, and we're gonna be throwing some deep crankbaits. We'll throw some rubber. Glenn's even got a secret weapon with us, live suckers. So join us. We're gonna go tackle some of the Canyon Lake muskies here in Northwest Ontario. There we go, that's a nice one. There we go. That was cool, did you see that thing just crack it? Musky, musky. She does not want to go. Well, we've had good action this morning. I mean, it's been, we've seen a lot of fish. She looks solid. Got a bite. Yeah, oh, that's a really, that's a great fish, man. There we hey, go. hey, musky in the boat. First Canyon Lake musky. Yeah, right? First one I've, well, it's got that little tight. Yeah, here. that doesn't count. That doesn't count. First real musky. There's a hook cutters in that bottom drawer. Yep. I'm just gonna snip hooks. How about that? Let's try this bait. I saw it on the internet, and I thought that thing looks way too cool. I gotta try that. Huh. Worked. All right, you're gonna see a Canyon Lake musky. This thing is beautiful. Wait till you see this fish. Just awesome. Huh? Check that out. Really cool. Thank you, sir. No problem. This is an amazing fishery. It's an amazing place. You know, I've spent a ton of time as a view, Glenn, fishing musky fisheries around this area. And one thing I'll say is if you want to get good at muskies, you got to encounter a lot of them. And this is a place to do it where you can have multiple fish up in a day. You can catch multiple fish. There's still big ones. Absolutely. But it's a great place to have fun and hone your skill set. And even if you're an experienced seasoned angler, this is a really cool oh, spot to do it. It's a good spot. This is uh, a. Yeah. A smallest size fish for this lake, but this is already starting to thick up for this time of oh, year. Oh, yeah, it's great. We'll, uh, we'll encounter some more, but it's a great way to start the day. Sweet. Absolutely. I'll get her back. What a spectacular critter. I never get sick of catching these things. They're the most amazing fish. Look at that. Look at how thick it is. I can't even get my hands around it. It's a... Yeah, it's a railroad type for its length. Clean. Yeah, just clear colors on it. Made a little line mark on her, but she's not bad. No, she'll be good. Cool. Anytime. See you, honey. Bye. The area we're in right now is just a classic neck down area. And neck downs, whether they're between islands or pinching the lake like this, are always good musky spots. Spring, summer, fall for sure. And you're noticing what, what we're doing is we're not both just casting on opposite sides of the boat, we're picking it apart. These are really good spots and you want to cover every square inch of them. So there's little rocks, weed beds, little depressions in this area. So we want, we're focusing on this side of the boat and the front of the boat. So we'll go through it and then we'll come back down the other side. We're not going to just drift in the middle and just randomly fan cast everywhere because what happens is you end up missing a lot of the good habitat or a lot of good hiding spots. So when you fish these neck downs, this is a great place to be patient and pick your casts and make a lot of very accurate casts and don't just blow through them randomly casting here and there. Oh, there's oh, one. there you go, nice one, nice one, buddy. Sweet, 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 I just made a bomb cast. I like this, this hole you took us to here, pal. We got rain, but we also have five minutes in between musky bites now. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. You say, hey, you know what? I'm not totally uh, into this whole net thing. Here we go. There. This is action, man. This is sweet. We've been seeing fish all morning, and we just caught one. Now we caught another one. I'm thinking bright colored plasticles are kind of the ticket might right be now. A, might be the ticket on this overcast day today. We'll take it. Yeah. 
big net's a big deal too, having this big oh, hoop to keep the fish safe. Absolutely. And, and swim around again. And the other part is you get to catch them twice, which is kind of fun. I'll land them to you here. There you go. How about that? Glenn and I's adventure. This is my new favorite musky fishing partner. You always go with somebody new when you catch fish, it seems like, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's cool. This is good. Another clean looking fish. Oh, that thing is awesome. See line marks on her, but not yeah. too bad. Let's awesome. get her back in. Yeah, all yours, buddy. I'll get the net out of the way. Well, she's, she's gone. She's gone. She was ready. This segment is brought to you by Go Hunt Ontario. Ty got up this morning at about 4. The sun gets up at about 6.45 this time of year, so he was pretty excited to get a grouse. And uh, clearly he's a hardcore chicken hunter if he gets up at 4 in the morning. Musky hunters are hardcore, but we don't even get up at 4 in the morning this time of year, so we better have some chickens. We can throw in some butter and flour tonight and enjoy. It's so cool just to see what they, what their eyes actually light up like a little kid when they get the whiff of the grouse. Yeah, it was here, wasn't it? So when you see a grouse, or you miss a grouse, it's no different than getting a foul by a muskie, right? Do a figure eight and you miss them? That's what I'm going with. So I'm sure they're catching muskies. I'm sure they're adding up how many follows they had and how many catches they got. So we'll go with how many misses we had as follows. So we'll go with that one. Yeah, I got it, Ricky. Go get it. Go get it, girl. Where is it? There it is. Good girl. There you go. Yep. Oh, perfect. This dog has the softest mouth. It's a nice thing. No meat's going to get ruined. Good job. She's old hat now. She's old hat now. Yeah. If you want to hunt grouse, you need to get a hold of Wayne and Lydia at North Country Lodge because there are so many of these birds around here in Northwest Ontario. And they taste delicious. Ready to go find some birds, Ricky? Come on, let's go find some birds. Oh. Go get it! Go get it, girl! Another one for the grouse hunters. I wonder how the muskie hunters are doing. I have a feeling Jeremy is doing just fine. That guy is a muskie nut. Oh, there we go. There's one. Whoa, there we go, right at the boat, buddy. Woo. There you go, all spins. Cool. There, that'll be a little easier. Thank you, sir. I've been throwing this uh, deep dive and crankbait. Cranks are a great, uh, great tool later in the fall. In the summer when the water's warm, the fish are up on top of these rock piles, and good spots are good spots. This could be a great summer spot throwing top waters and bucktails, but in the fall, the fish just kind of move out to the next layer and yep. throw in some baits to get a little deeper. And All right, I'm gonna get this after the fish is out. I'll show you the muskie here, guys. Little muskie. Beautiful little fish, huh? Nice little guy. Sweet, this is action, man. There's a lot of action on this lake. If you wanna come catch a bunch of muskies, feel like you're a really awesome muskie <laughs> fisherman, this is a good place to do it. It's a good cool. spot to learn, for sure. You'll get oh. encounters with fish. And even if you, you know, I do a lot of muskie fishing. This is fun, I mean, it's, it's, fun. it's a lot of fun. Cool, I'm gonna get this guy back. Catching fish is fun. When it comes to grouse hunting, Ontario's got all the right stuff. 
road accessible uplands, remote wilderness mixed with woodland cover and food. Also home to spruce and sharp-tailed grouse, rough grouse are most abundant throughout Ontario and a favorite with hunters for their challenging flush and really fine table fare. Now here's a question for you, true or false? The male grouse may return to the same log or stump for several years to drum for a mate. We'll give you a moment to think it over and have the answer when we come back. True or false? The male grouse may return to the same log or stump for several years to drum for a mate? If you guess true, you're right. Each spring, male grouse often return to the same log to drum for a female mate and ward off competitive males. But not any log or stump will do. The male chooses a territory where his future mate and chicks will have the best access to food and shelter. And did you know male grouse drumming is produced by the vacuum created under their wings when they flap progressively faster, call them miniature sonic booms. And the logger stump sometimes amplifies the drumming, kind of like a hollow body music instrument. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? We're bringing in the big guns, we got Kai with us. Stop by Bobby's, told her the bite's on. Glenn's been putting us on muskies, so She's the real musky stick. We've caught several today, so we figured we need to get at least 10, so you got like six more to catch. Can you do it? I'll try, <laughs> see if I can show you guys up. It all starts with my dad, actually, and him being a guide up on Long Legged Lake. Since I was a little girl, probably before I can even walk, we were going up to Long Legged, fishing mostly uh, walleye and trout then. Yeah. And then as we got older, my brothers got into musky fishing, and then I, in turn, got into it. Just seeing cool. the big giants come up under the water, it's like, whoa, <laughs> I want to catch one of those. Yeah, so, right? Yeah, it all started with him. I didn't even have a chance to get my rod wet. Look Boy, at I'm that. a real fish. That is not very gentleman-like, is it? Bring that in here. What? <laughs> oh, there we go. Thank you. Sweet. Doubles. We got doubles. Oh, they're about the same size. Twins. Unbelievable. We had a double. Come on, man. This is sick. I love it. Good job, guys. <laughs> Unreal. Unbelievable. We have, we release one on this side, you have one on this side, she's casting as a fall. We literally have three muskies going at the same time. This was the first one on the sucker rig. Yeah. So we finally got a sucker to hit, but <laughs> come up to Canyon Lake. This yeah, is, this, yeah, this is, is fun. It's all about. This is really fun. There we go. Got him. Sweet, just popped off that rock and bam! I can just grab this one, I think, bud. A big, it's a pike. A pike. Well, how about that? First pike we've caught. Oh, popped off. First pike of the trip. That's a nice one. Don't get oh. the net, and that's what happens. Oh, man. Biggest would have been. There's another one. That's a nice fish there. That was cool. Okay, so I cast out, I have like an 8, 10 pound jack on. I go, I lost it. I make cast, make one twitch, and I hook a muskie. I'm digging this, dude. Look at that tail. They just love nipping that tail. Oh, whoa. He wants to run. There you go. Muskie in the boat. What dog? I feel like such a great fisherman coming to Canyon Lake. <laughs> <laughs> really not, but the lake is so good that it makes me feel like it. I mean, there's not many places where you go where it's like, you can catch lots of muskies in a day, and this is certainly one place yeah. you can catch some can numbers. And you get a chance at a big fish as well. Yeah, that's sweet. Let's see what we got in the net here. All right, check that out, another. Another fish, we're just pounding the muskies, man. Pike, muskies, it's been great action. I'm hoping uh, Ty's having the same luck with the chickens as we are with the, the muskies so far, so good. Yeah, it's been a good sweet. day so far. Yeah, the uh, rain stopped, the fish are biting, hopefully the grouse are out walking around. I'm gonna get this guy back, cool. Beautiful musky. Hot dog. We've got a little different uh, day today. We're gonna go on a long walk. Now I've been to boat two bear hunts. I've been to boat two deer hunts. I've never been to a boat two grouse hunt. This is super unique. I got my partner Ricky here and she's gonna do the flushing, so 
I'm looking forward to this day. <laughs> nice job. She found this <laughs> and she retrieved it. North Country Lodge boat shoot grouse hunting. How much more unique can you get? Hey, we, we got a couple hours of hunting in. We've got eight flushes. I even did my job on a couple of them. Thick cover. We're a little, here a little early. A lot of fun though. This is an experience that Ricky and I will get to share for a lifetime. So much fun watching her work. She's progressed from just a puppy and, and having no experience to flushing up birds and actually retrieving. This is awesome, a true Ontario experience. 